wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, pin code, pin code, pin code, pin code. Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. Time flows differently for him. He could observe one process on Saturn for weeks on end. Bibi gets so lost in his work, my Bibi. <sighs> what if something bad has happened to him? Well, he'd write if something had, wouldn't he? Of course he would. There's no need to check in if everything's fine. I guess you're right. Hmm? Hey there, Daddy. <gasps> it's from Bibi. So far, things are fine for me here. <laughs> Told you so. Hugs and kisses from Bibi. Okay, what else? Let me see. <sighs> That's it. Well, uh, at least you know that he's all right. Uh, that's good. That's great. <sighs> I can't take this anymore. I have to see my little man! <sighs> we could fly to BB on a rocket, huh? <laughs> rocket travel takes too long. And it's dangerous. I need a device that would let me see my BB all the way from here. Um, a telescope? Nine. Telescope won't do it. BB is way too far. I need to make a device which will allow me to transfer images over a tremendous distance. Then I can see my sweet BB <laughs> waving at me. Isn't he in outer space? How could he send you a picture? I don't want just a picture. What I'm talking about are high quality moving images. Movies, you know. Huh? To me, that sounds kind of like magic. Hmm. <gasps> Not magic. <laughs> hmm? Here. 
Vladimir Kozmich Svorikin was the first to successfully construct a device which was able to send and receive video images. This happened in the year 1931. At that point in time, the inventor was 42 years old. Today, descendants of that device can be found in almost every home, and the word television is known to even the smallest children. I still don't get it. How on earth can an image be transferred to some other place? Very simple. First, you have to split it up into smaller pieces, then pack them all up and send them out. Sounds like magic. When we watch a movie, we are actually seeing many separate still pictures one after another. The image on the screen is made of these frames. The quick changing of frames creates one long moving picture. That is why a video has to be broken into many separate frames before it can be sent somewhere. Moreover, each picture frame has to be broken into smaller parts as well. An image is made of millions of individual dots these dots are so tiny that we can't even see them. If we transfer information about each dot to another place and recombine the dots in the new place, we can end up with a moving image. I did not understand a bit of that, but I think that's fine. But how can we reassemble all of the dots back into the image? We need something that is able to draw all of the dots incredibly quickly. Eureka! An image can be drawn by a beam of light. Then it will move right along the screen. If the light beam moves fast enough, then we will get frames. A TV screen is made up of separate dots that can translate any image which is sent to it. These dots are called pixels. Based on the information received, the TV lights up the appropriate pixels and we see the picture. It's working! Hey, why am I black and white? I'm blue, right? Well, the model hairs Vorikin constructed only worked in black and white. There are too many other colors. It would need too many different colored light beams. It's just really hard. I remember reading there are a few what they call primary colors. Uh, three, and every other color is actually made from them. Oh, that's right! How could I forget? Yes! Indeed, there are three primary colors. They are red and blue and green. We only need three colors to create every color that we know. These primary colors are red, green, and blue. If we project the right kind of light beams on a white background, the white can become any other color. When red and green lights overlap, we see yellow. When green and blue lights overlap, we see aquamarine. And when red and blue overlap, we see magenta. When all three colored lights overlap, we see white. <sighs> I will soon be able to see my little one in color. I was right! I'm blue, look! Good. Now we just have to get the camera up to baby. <laughs> I'm hungry. When BB sends the radio signal with the video image, 
it will be received by this antenna, then pass on to the television. And the TV will convert the signal into a pretty picture. If we make an electron move from one side to the other, it produces waves, like a float on the surface of a pond. These are called electromagnetic waves. Light consists of electromagnetic waves as well. These waves can spread everywhere, even in the space between planets and stars. By monitoring electromagnetic waves, we can see and hear what is happening very far away from us. When electrons move in a transmitting antenna, they produce waves, which scatter in all directions. Receiving antenna capture those waves, which then make electrons inside the receiving device move as well. Thus, we can send and receive sound or images over great distance. Wow, it's snowing really hard in space. That's just the white noise. The signal hasn't arrived yet. Hooray! It's working! Just look, hooray! <laughs> it's better uh, than magic yes. because it's real! Baby, <laughs> it's my baby! There he is! <laughs> Danke, Herr Svoriken! Thank you, brave pioneer! <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Pin. We came to visit our new best friend, your television. Well, guten tag. I've been giving the television system a teensy gigantic upgrade. Meet your even newer best friend. Huh? <laughs> but that's baby. And that's the future of television. <laughs>